<clears throat> Peace. What's up, y'all? It's Phil James. You know. Um, yeah. So today, it's still January 17th. It's Wednesday. It's 2018. And as you see, I'm here on The Daily Beast. Now, this caught my attention because it's pretty insane and it's pretty rare. You don't really hear stories like this too often. But it seems like here recently, you hear about these meteors, these fireballs in the sky. Now, I've never ever in my life so oftenly heard meteors called fireballs by mainstream. So I think there's a difference. And the difference being that fireballs are massive opposed to meteors. Meteors are a tiny little green or white streak through the sky, maybe even blue, and you can't really see it too well, but it goes real, real quick, right? Now, fireballs, on the other hand, are very bright. They make the nighttime look daylight again, and everybody, basically, who's around sees it because it's that bright and it catches their eyes. Now, remember that. Now, listen. Meteor soars over Detroit, causing minor earthquake. What? Okay, so a Detroit earthquake? That's pretty rare. Sounds like an earthquake in a diverse location. And also, sounds like stars falling out of the sky when the sun is darkened. Well, we've all seen the black hole sun videos and the sun simulator videos. So, the Lord's going to come like a thief in the night, guys. Remember that. Because... All these signs that are referred to in the Bible are clearly happening right now, okay? Big black hole in the middle of the sun, and it's not camera artifacts. You know, this is what people are picking up. And then suddenly, there's a solar, sh uh, solar simulator, a sun simulator that's patented, by the way. So it's not out of this world to think that they're trying to cover up the signs that we would use to know it's that time. So get this. The sky lit up over Detroit on Tuesday night as a meteor rocketed over the area, causing a 2.0 magnitude earthquake that shook homes. The National Weather Service said it had received dozens of reports about the rare occurrence, which it initially said was not thunder or lightning or weather related. The service later confirmed that the fireball spotted shortly after 8 p.m. was a meteor, saying it also caused a minor earthquake in the area. Videos posted on social media showed the night sky light up, with residents reporting the blinding flash of light was followed by the sound of thunder. Saw a fireball in the sky, and then a couple minutes later there was a loud boom that, or yeah, loud boom, and the house shook. Resident Carol Peck not trying that last name, wrote on Facebook, according to Detroit Free Press. So, yeah, that's pretty crazy, right? Now, I will try this video, even though every time it never turns out the way it should. So let's try it. See what happens, I guess. Okay, yeah, pretty effing bright. So, here's my question. What caused the earthquake? Did that so-called meteor fireball hit the ground? Or what? I mean, you would think that if it had hit the ground, somebody would already have gone and found it, or tried to at least. And I haven't heard anything about that. And the simple fact that it was a meteor, and then an earthquake happened, and it was in Detroit is already a very rare occurrence. And just a month ago or two, a month or two ago, we had, what, 60 fireballs in the span of a week? One was even over my area here in Ohio. So, what the hell? Stars or meteors falling out of the sky, right? Right. It's getting pretty intense, and it's become very obvious that there is a supernatural um, a supernatural way of looking at this. This is clearly not, you know, just some random occurrence. So with that being said, I wanted to go ahead and bring up something here. So 
Bible prophecies and Bible verses. Luke 21, 11, New International Version. Let's go ahead and read that. There will be great earthquakes, famines, pestilence in various places, and fearful events and great signs from heaven. Now, fireballs, being massive, massively bright meteors, would be a sign from heaven. A big black hole in the middle of the sun that people seem to pick up would be a sign from heaven. A super blue blood moon on January 31st will be a great sign in heaven. You know, we're talking a massive looking moon that's the second full moon in the month of January. It just so happens to be a super moon, so it looks like 15% bigger. And not only that, but it will be a full lunar eclipse. And all three of these rare occurrences are just so happening, or just so happen to be at the same exact time, fall on the same exact day. So, yeah, sign from heaven, in my opinion. And it's not hard to see why I would think that. You know what I mean? It's pretty obvious. Okay, so there will be great earthquakes and in various places famines and pestilence and there will be terrors and great signs from heaven okay so fireballs are great signs from heaven in my opinion full blue blood moons that you know are super moons at the same time is a sign from heaven in my opinion and then get this mark 13:25 the stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. Now, stars, in my opinion, are falling from the sky. We would not be able to know because not many people stare at the sky anymore the way they used to. Our ancestors did. You know what I mean? We don't do that. But if you just so happen to be in the very dark place with very little light pollution you can see the sheer amount of stars that are up there and it's absolutely mind-blowing the amount of stars that are in our sky okay it's mind-blowing and if you go somewhere that is dark enough you can see the Milky Way so would we even notice a star missing probably not unless it was a very prominent star as in like the middle star in Orion's belt you know what I mean if that fell out of the sky yeah we would definitely see it now a lot of people are probably going to give me shit about me saying this and about me saying stars are falling from the sky well why do you think it got the name it got for children shooting stars why do you think that name is because more than likely it's just the stars okay and they're falling right out or right from the firmament if you believe in that sort of thing which you know I do and people are like there's no proof there's no proof it doesn't matter all the proof I need is a book that is literally had numerous prophecies come true one after the other one after the next you know what I mean and every single one is here now then you read verses like these and you realize that it's a, a straight up description of what's happening a fireball over Detroit and then a 2.0 magnitude earthquake slams, shakes houses. I mean, it was a minor earthquake, only a 2.0, but it was still an earthquake and it was still a fireball. So what is going on? In my opinion, exactly what these Bible verses are saying. Great signs in the heavens. That's exactly what's going on in my opinion. And I hope you guys anybody who is not a subscriber are capable of seeing that because I already know my subs get it my subs are very intelligent people and they're very open-minded and they're very very capable of understanding this perfectly so I'm not worried about my subscribers this I'm referring to like right now is to the people that are not subbed and wondering why in the hell I'm talking about a firmament and stars falling out of it well do some research and get back to me don't insult me don't try to just go do some research real non-biased research with an open mind and come back to me because you will be mind blown bottom effing line so think about it keep it in your mind fireballs all over the place earthquakes in diverse locations wars and rumors of wars missile threats missile crisis you know so yeah 
we're living in those times guys and the Lord will come as a thief in the night so I hope everybody has a good night I'm gonna get out of here peace out to y'all thank you subs for subscribing thank you to my new subs there's two of them I appreciate that that goes to you too um, and yeah I will see y'all in the next video Bell James and I'm out peace y'all